video, I want to talk about a really cool NPM package that I've been using a lot. It's called Regression. Okay, this is math, statistics, coding, all combined. So, just like most NPM libraries, NPM install it into your project. Then we can import it, regression from regression. Then you basically pass in a bunch of points, x and y values, and it will try to find the line that fits best between those points. Okay, so gradient here, right? Sometimes you call this slope, slope of the line, and then the y-intercept. So it's just looking for a linear straight line. And the object that it returns, so this equation, right, contains the numbers, the slope and y-intercept. The string is a nice readable string, y equals something, something x. Points are a little bit hard to explain. You pass in a bunch of points with x's and y's. The points that it returns are the x values that you passed in and the y values that are on the line. R2, this is the R squared, right? The way to calculate this, if you're doing it by hand, it's called the least squares method, right? So you want to find the line where the square of the distance from each point is the least. Right, I guess the sum of those. And then predict is pretty interesting because you can pass in an arbitrary x value and it will tell you the y from that line that it had created. And the really interesting thing is that it's not only straight lines that you can fit your data to. You can do exponentially growing lines, logarithmic lines, power, polynomial. So, let's do some coding here. <clears throat> so I'm going to call this regression video. This is just a, a REPL.IT project. <sighs> so, I'm just going to call this regression video. Install this package regression. Add it. And let's make some linear points. And I do have this. Right, we'll frame alpha here just plotting a straight line. <laughs> so this here is the slope, right? And this is the y-intercept. So we could say maybe just 1x plus 0 is a very simple line going 45 degrees from the origin, okay? And the idea here is that for every x value, the y equals the x, right? So our points would be 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, 4, you get the idea, right? And now just to kind of compare it with a set of points that are not exactly on the line, I'm just going to call this linear points slightly off, okay? And I'm just going to change 1 to 4, 5, right? So now that perfectly straight line will not fit exactly through these points. It will have to be a little, a little bit tilted in order to fit better. Okay. So, let's bring in our regression library. I'm just going to use require here because I'm in regular Node.js. And I'm going to move this to the top. Just because this is kind of the library that we're using. And then 
I'm going to say linear fit with linear points. Okay. Okay, add some new lines here. And I'm also going to log, right, let's call this function. So regression, we're going to find the linear fit for these points, linear points. I'm going to hit command enter. And let's look at the output here. Okay. So, the points that it gives me are exactly the points that I passed in. The equation, y equals 1x, right? Same as y equals 1x plus 0. The slope, the y-intercept, and we have 1 here. r squared is 1, meaning that there is, I forget why 1 is the perfect, it's like, because 1, it's like 0 variance from the mean, something. The point is that 1 means the points are perfectly on the line that it fit the data to. Okay, so now I'm going to set this to a variable. I'm going to call this... I'm going to call this regression model. Take this out, put it up here. And remember this predict function. So let's try to call this. So regression model, I'm going to say y value when x is 42. Okay. Now I'm using string interpolation with the backticks here, so I can just call it in here. Regression model dot predict 42. And so now with our yep, sorry, let me just hide that for a second. Bring it out the right thing. Right, so the y value when x is 42 is 42. Okay, and it gives us both points here. So really, if you only want the y value, you can say 1. Right, get the, the 1 index out of the array that's returned. <clears throat> okay, so... So now let's see what happens when we use the points that are slightly off, okay? I'm going to console with linear points, and then with linear points slightly off. Just hide this. Okay, so this was our first one, right? The R2 was 1, Y equals 1X. So, when we pass in these slightly off points, you can see the line that it creates, that it says fits best, is y equals 1.3x, so it's slightly steeper, minus 0.5. So it crosses just below the origin, crosses the y-axis, okay? So this is a different line. It fits 0.97. So it was not a perfect fit, right? You can tell that these y values are different from the ones we passed in because these are the ones that are actually on the line that it fit to, okay? So that is linear regression. That's a cool thing all in itself, but there's more. Okay, this I have an example of an exponential function, right? You know how people say exponential growth, there's exponentially this and that, right? Exponential means that the equation is y equals a, some coefficient, times e to the bx, right? Where b is some other coefficient. 
and that's how you get this really quickly ramping up type of curve line. Okay. And logarithmic, I have another one here for you guys. So logarithmic is similar, but kind of the inverse of this, okay? It's called logarithmic because the equation is y equals a, some coefficient, plus b times natural log of x. A natural log, if you remember from math, is sort of an inverse to e to the x. I say natural log of e to the x, right, when you come down here, the derivative of natural log e to the x equals 1. And you can see the line log e to the x simplifies to just x, okay? This is the line y equals x. So, pretty interesting. Anyway, how can we bring this back to coding and stuff? Okay, so I have some exponential points over here. If I take these over, then we can see x is 1, y is 1. Then x is 2, y is 3. Then x is 3, y jumps up to 14, okay? Then x is 4, and y is 37. Wow, that's ramping up. Now it's 5, and y is 84. Dang, that's pretty high. So that's like, zoop, you know? It should be that an exponential curve fits this data better than just a straight line, I would think, right? So, let's... Um, let's call the regression dot linear on these exponential points and then we can call regression dot exponential right to see so I'll hit command enter to run these and we can see right looking at whichever one has the higher r squared is basically the line that fits better so you can see this one almost a perfect fit to an exponential line, 0.7e to the 0.97x, where there was a lot more error in the straight line. Okay. Just for kicks, we could also log algorithmic, run this through the logarithmic regression to see does it fit this you know slowing momentum type of curve okay so we can see actually right because it's an exponential function actually it's the points that fit to an exponential line right this is a contrived example then we can see that Exponential fits the best. Linear fits not as well, but you can see that linear fits better than logarithmic, which is like curving the complete opposite way of how the points are laid out, right? So, pretty interesting that you can just throw it into these three functions and see what kind of line does my data fit best to. Okay, actually, this is really mind-blowing for me because I, you know, I did a, have a degree in math, right? My senior year, I remember taking linear algebra regression classes with a professor, like, spending an hour drawing in chalk on the board, you know, all these matrices, and it's just so funny that... In, with Node.js, it just makes it so easy. All you do is throw your points in, and you're done, right? It spits out the answer for you. All you need to do is understand what the output is telling you. 
and hopefully now that you've watched this video, you have a good idea of what each of these things are, and you can use this to fit your data, you know, find trends. This could be used in so many different applications. It's pretty crazy, and, you know, this regression, linear regression, exponential regression, is not something that's at all unique to Node.js, although I really do think this is an awesome, nice, clean syntax and the output. Um, <clears throat> there's definitely libraries you can do this pretty similarly easily in, you know, Python, Clojure, Rust, Java, right? So I would be really surprised if there was not a nice regression library for whatever language you're using, right? So that's all for this video. Check it out and start using some regression packages. Like, subscribe, have a good day.